way better. So, yeah, we're going to see Ogre Willow. Um, we saw on another stream, Fnatic did some Ogre Core. Ice 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 played it. He did some Ogre Shaman, Bloodlust and Shadow Shaman. Uh, but, you know, we've got a Fire Blast to set up the Brambles. Definitely a scary looking lane. And then we will see most likely Nisha playing the, the Naga Siren. Nubi took their time and uh, went for a Life Stealer. I like this because uh, he can get pretty much out of anything and they mm -hmm. don't have any spell that goes uh, through rage the area Ten where he maybe falls short it's just the matchup against naga can be a little bit tough but Five you fix that with remaining. the items i guess like going for the radiance you've got the evasion talent at level 20. can stay alive against Naga. i don't imagine we'll see any kind of armlet deso when you're playing it could be wrong they already have ember spirit to deal with the with the illusions, but the yes, sir. radiance against illusion always great. Yeah. And you can just go into back lines. Uh, it's great against Dark Willow, the Shadow Realm as well. Mm -hmm. It looks like a really good radiance. Yeah. And we've even seen uh, early today the Mar support Marana gets Axe Scepter and basically becomes a core. That's another way of dealing with those illusions. Does look like Nubia will be looking for an offlane with their last pick. That's what Secret thing as well. Banning out Tidehunter. Another hero that can also push out lanes, deal with illusions. As for Secret, looking for their other core. Naga could be mid. Ten be safe lane. Remaining. I would love to see Team Secret Five getting something that remaining. goes to Rage. Hmm. What are we looking at? Or someone who can man up and just fight yeah. against the life stealer jug, yeah, jug is still in the pool jug yeah, but, sure but jug naga siren kind of feels uh, i was thinking of something like with like the insist on like a dk you know where you can just have that I and mean, you're playing against ember and life seal these are heroes that you want to have like stuns against maybe it's not that maybe dk into life seal is the best matchup there's an underlord thank you fella they needed the, the pipe carrier here and okay. it's gonna much value. Underlord, if he tanks up, I don't feel like there's that much damage on the secret side right now to, to deal with him. Of course, Ten probably looking at ways remaining. to solve that with their last pick. No OD available, that would have been Five obviously a very good remaining. pick, that's why newbie ban it. And we'll see what the secret looks like. 40 seconds left to figure out what either mid one or shows can be playing see anything cr too crazy as far as stuff. They can create a lot of space with uh, just the uh, three Crystal Maiden, Willow, and the uh, Ogre while Naga Siren farms, so they don't necessarily need to get the playmaking. Slark. Ooh. Your hero. Slark, so it will be Nisha playing the Naga and mid one on the Slark. We'll have to see how that what that means for the late. Both Slark and Naga could theoretically go mid. Slark is a hero that has a way to get out of get out of roots as well, which is important mostly for the M. Also, if you see something like an arrow coming, maybe Dark packed it off as well. You like the Slark pick? It looks like a really good Slark game to start with. They don't have enough control for him, even though if you see a team picking Naga Siren and Slark, I think everyone would say, yeah, this is extremely greedy, but it's a team secret. They can make it work, especially with the Crystal Maiden in the team. So Slark will have a lot of mana region to, to work with. Uh, HP region, Ten of course, with his ulti, remaining. so he can just uh, farm the jungle. But the thing is, both of these heroes love to be. Five seconds remaining. That's why I mentioned yeah. that these three kind of supports can uh, create a lot, of this, a lot of space on the map and the... Uh, that might be where we see Slark um, playing more aggressive, not going for the Midas this game even? Or do you think you just have to go for Midas? Well, I guess they're going to see how the laning stage goes. Okay. You really can't have Ogre with uh, Midas, Nagasaren yeah. just farming Slark with Midas. That sounds... I, I'd like to see just like a Treads drums or Phase drums. Or, and go Diffusal after that. And go, go for this build that allows you to be more... It's, it's kind of more mid-1 style as well. Nisha is the guy that's going to farm and go play for the late game. Mid one wants to play for the early to make. As for newbie, see that support Miranda coming to play. Um, a few times we've seen that already today. And 
their game plan is you know a little bit different they haven't got the the late game as much but their mid game when they hit like you know their life steal or item timings is what is where they're kind of scary i feel like newbies lineup is uh, more mid game oriented even though they scale well like Verana can transition into a late game when, when i say late game she ne doesn't necessarily get a butterfly satanic yeah, but, but uh, with agonim scepter she actually deals a lot of damage she can yeah actually scale it's not like this hero that's going to fall off completely has ways Prepare to farm as well battle. see how things pan out here as we get ourselves underway with the lanes typical four position stuff both four positions you talked about lacoste they love these sages masks yeah, having it's kind of a new meta where yeah. you just buy ring of protection in the side shop uh, you get plus eight damage from it two armor some mana region for your for your laning partner yep and yeah gives you these very strong dual lanes uh, and then no other big surprises it looks like with anything naga sending out some early illusions like ember thought about trying to kill it off but that's not going to be happening and it will be slack going to the mid lane that was one of the questions obviously typically mid one is the mid laner but Every now and then they do send Nisha there if he's got battle. a certain hero or matchup they want to play. Like particularly when he used to play Morphling a bit, he would go to that mid lane. Going to be the case here. Slark mid because he is going to get levels and comes online faster. He, he's going to be that uh, playmaking uh, hero, even though Slark is really not that. Battle for the bounty runes. Does look like. Newbie were hoping to get these top ones, but three secret heroes the are there. Begins. Make it four. Arrow going to go flying in, not going to land, and it will be three bounty runes going secrets way, as they did manage to get one at the bottom lane as well. Do we see lane swap? So Newbie see this, and does look like Puppy's going to be taking down bottom. Not to the tower, just to the shrine. What's he up to here? Blocking camps. Okay. What's the idea? Is he just worried about Underlord getting in there, like with pulling waves from behind yeah. the tower? So that he can't uh, farm both lane creeps and the jungle creep. Yeah. And I guess Puppy's expecting to be able to zone him out and maybe to force him to pull waves from behind this tower. Instantly Puppy's coming to help out Nisha, secure this lane as best as possible. <laughs> See how this goes. Snaking, very tanky fella. This is Underlord in a nutshell. Meanwhile, back at top. So now we're down bottom. Yeah, Puppy actually got hit by this one, and that's going to be first blood. Snaking gets the last hit. Really nicely played. Back at top, it was Ogre pulling waves from behind the tower. That's what I want to take a look at, but first blood is claimed. And this is why Mirana is the first big material right now. If you hit that arrow, it's going to guaranteed kill, unless you have something to remove the arrow with. And she can also farm the <laughs> side camp easily like when you're playing your pub games you do not want to see that your mirana just arrowing the <laughs> big big creep i love doing it i'm a, I'm a big support mirana player that's the dream you know you just gotta kill in your lane and for every arrow that gets a kill you've earned yourself a big creep you know if you have nothing to do yeah. it's pretty much free gold if you have mana region exactly. and uh, with the ring of bassy Look at it, 2.3 per second. Also oh. has some clarities. That's the thing, you're often playing oh, in no. trees and fog, so it's very easy to get use out of those clarities as well. Here we are, back at top lane. It does look like Mr. Fish here is uh, in a bit of trouble here. The Fire Blast into the Bramble Root. We'll be looking to maybe get himself to the Roshan Pit for a deny, but not able to do so. Ogre with the Bloodlust. Secret, that's Zai on the Ogre chasing him down. You'd make great hired muscle. So far, both the uh, Life Stealer and Slark on top of a CS chart. Puppy, bit of trouble. There's a leap. They've almost certainly got this kill. It's just a matter of how many leaps they have to Hi. use. That's the last leap, and Puppy will go down. <laughs> Replenish time on leap got uh, buffed from 60 to 40 seconds. 45, sorry. Yeah. I think it was actually looking at the center. Oh well. We'll take the creeps instead. Did you want to do that? Mid one should be careful on a mid lane. 
double damage, but he's also looking to keep taking these stacks. He's manning up there, looking for the kill. Who's gonna get Ember just wins the right-click battle. Is he suiciding? Yeah. He's trying to die while the Slark's still dead. Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah. He's not getting any XP. You're out of mana, out of region. And what you know of Slark, TP's back into the lane while you're still low, he's gonna be able to crush you. So you wanna be having full health and full mana in lane. You don't, you don't mess with CCNC. This guy's, this guy's a player. CCNC has always been the player that uh, has a great understanding of the laning stage. Sometimes his decision making in the mid game were not perfect, but uh, one of the strongest laners. The best of this mid matchup, slightly behind on CS, four last hits, four denies, but with that kill, a bit of an edge, and it is a 50 net worth advantage. Experience-wise, yeah, he's ahead by almost half a level, a bit under that, so it's ever so slightly winning this mid lane. I was using word slightly intentional. Absolutely not. I would... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that clever, Lacoste. <laughs> <laughs> Too much credit. Didn't get that range creep. He's a failure. As Kira up top. Bully back to the tier 2 tower. Yep, so making use of this bloodlust. Definitely one of those spells. Level 1. It is well and truly a value point. For a moment, I thought that was Dark Willow with level 25 talent. <laughs> it's a lot of arrow. It's gonna hit. Leaves on forward with the Style Storm. Nisha gets hit by the double, but it's not gonna be enough to bring him down. Miranda still has one more leap charge. It looks like Puppy should die here. Has a salve if he can juke this one and is succeeding in doing so. Runs north. Nisha also salving up. So it is going to be Mirana needing to get the hell out of here. Snaking. Snaking incredibly low. He's just going to outregion the damage from Crystal Maiden. Yeah. Oh, going to be forced back here. They want to heal up. Bounty Rune's coming soon and... With those two heroes forced to head back to Fountain to heal up, Puppy should be able to get both these bottom bounty runes. One so, doing what damage he can. At the same time, it's Secret looking to secure these top bounty runes, so I think we're going to be seeing four bounty runes going the way of Secret. It's really hard to contest the uh, bounties against the Dark Willow, yeah. especially with the build that uh, Yappy went for. I don't think they were one ever going to... Oh, yeah. They weren't ever going to contest top. The idea was they should get bottom, but by losing that trade and... The salves coming out, and they didn't cancel them, meant that, you know, they just I lost the two bounty runes bottom, which they're supposed attack. to get. Back at mid, Ember's hit level 6 now, so it has those remnants that Slark has to be a little bit careful of. Flame Guard to farm the lane, then instantly remnants back to a jungle camp. CC and C just trying to be efficient and play more of a farming game. And Slark is actually going for Hand of Midas, first item. Even though he's the mid in this game, he doesn't necessarily need to be that active. The three support, I mean, supports uh, offlane and uh, both supports can make a lot of space. Ogre offlane can feel like a bit of a support at times. The way you itemize is often getting all those teamfight items. The Solar Crest, get the Vlads. Maybe you throw in a Midas if you're feeling a little bit crazy. Yeah. Up lane, Oga. Going on in on the life still, who's just gonna rage up, but forced to run away. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Kind of a, a slower laning stage now, with both teams kind of having some heroes that need a bit of farm to come online. Do you think this kind of favors one team or the other? I think Team Secret, if they want to itemize like this, go for the Midas's. You have a Naga Siren in your team. You don't want to rush anything. And they picked up four bounties with the levels. I think uh, their heroes are way better. Especially when the supports hit level six. And they've got themselves a 1k gold lead. So the numbers kind of reflect that. Although the numbers mostly being the bounty runes, yeah. like you said. If you compare both supports, like once Mirana hits level six, it's not that effective. It's great ulti if you have heroes to kill with. Jakiro, sometimes he doesn't even get macro pyro on level 6 because he has mana issues. Yeah. For the Radiant side, Dark Willow, it's like you've suddenly got a huge amount of kill potential with your level 6, so... Something where a secret... Probably content with how this game is going, like just... 
Coming towards mid is secret. Both supports are in the neighborhood. Can they actually get the root chains here? It will be a slight of fist. He gets rooted again, but there's just not enough damage during this. And CCNC will remnant himself out of there. Once again, leaving these remnants on these jungle camps so he can very quickly access additional farm. This is the beauty of Ember Spirit and uh, Kanka. X mark yourself or you TP and go back to remnant in a second, pretty much. Result to full HP and mana. Gets himself a ward from Mr. Pylidae, and we'll find the haste rate. So, we'll see what he can do with this one, if he's just gonna keep farming, playing the lane, or if he is gonna start looking to rotate anytime soon. Does seem like he's more intent on farming, the way he keeps throwing these fire remnants into the jungle. You're gonna just push out one more wave and go jungle. Slack will have Midas soon, though. The Midas, but should be okay, has the remnant. That's been leashed up here. The Brambles is there to follow it up. Are you going to get them? Yep. Gets the Remnant away. Prepared for this once again. Has the Shrine and everything. They do bully him out of lane time and time again. And I think for Secret, you're still okay with this. Obviously, you prefer to kill him. But hey, Slark's free farming. Naga's free farming. They've got the top two net worth heroes on their side. Yeah. And if you look at the itemization, Team Secret is playing the economy game. Ogre also has Hand of Midas queued up. Uh, both of the supports have uh, actually three heroes on their side have GP and Talon. So yeah. they're really good to, <laughs> to play this in super That's late true. game. Some of them come align, a bit like CM, you need 15 for it. Instead, You'll get them. In on the top lane, they want this Mirana. Arrow from the trees potentially could come. They will land it. Is the damage going to be there? With the phase boots, he's pretty tanky. Infest damage will be just enough as Mirana, you are, gets that kill. So we didn't talk too much about the Naga Siren. I mean, she's just stacking the creeps for herself, jungling. 404 build, pretty much standard. You can spam out the mirror image. You can see going for a solo kill here on the slack, but won't overcommit. I guess Naga just leaving the jungle now just because you can farm safer and faster there. Is that the, is that the plan? Free yeah, up the lane CM, for the support. CM is only level four. He farms way faster in the jungle. There's the arrow. Yep. Had to wait. Hit the range creep. Didn't land it on Puppy. I think the route wasn't going to be long enough, so he had to kind of guess where Puppy was going to move to. And It's a bit of malice level two. Okay. 1.2 uh, second duration. If he maybe leaped forward, the arrow would still connect. I don't think they needed the longer stun. It's CM, who's only level four. Oh I love this. Raptor level six. All right. With the Bedlam, they should have the damage for Achilles. They are going to go flying through, but that's not enough. And here comes mid one, looking to get himself some essence. Radiance Permanent Radiance agility Radiance acquired. Radiance what do you love about Mr. CM? Well, Bracer. Oh. Instead of boots. And that Bracer just saved Puppy's life, potentially. No. Still going to go down to the Mirana Leap Starstorm, but did force an extra bit of commitment. Who needs boots, anyways? You can see rotating nice and early here. Yapster could be in some trouble. Flame guard, CCNC. Gonna do what he can to apply some pressure here, but maybe a little bit careful. Naga actually canceling that TP. Absolutely not too sure about this one. And Yapster's gonna die to one more slide of fist. It's up in a couple of seconds. Yapster, he's just dead. Yep. <laughs> well, level four slide of fist. That's what it does to you. Six second cooldown. Can't really run away. And all that extra damage from it. 160 bonus hero damage. They want this tier one bottom tower. CC CNC playing on such low health here, but there's just not a whole lot that can threaten him. Does look like yeah, he's gonna have to head back soon, so assume. They will have a really great setup in the mid game. Chains into arrow. Right now it's only level one serum chains. 1.5 second duration, also a bit of malice once that's maxed out. To be really easy to set those arrows from Mirana. Radiance middle tower is under Remnants attack. back in. I think he also refilled the Mirana's bottle. Well, I'm not entirely sure, I didn't see, but he did Remnant right next to the Mirana. It seemed like perhaps an intentional little play. There's Puppy, gonna look to set up this kill on the Ember Spirit, and well, oh, Ember just Remnants away. And actually with an arrow, mid one could be in some trouble here. 
Another remnant, yeah, they get that kill. Puppy should be a second to fall if they've got the mana for it, and it does look like that's the plan. CCNC diving on forward. His Ember Spirit has just been fantastic so far, but with the TP in from the Ogre Magic, they may have overcommitted here. Morana gets the kill, leaps into the trees with a Moonlight Shadow, and has a TP out. Bramble's gonna miss, so yeah. He also has another arrow there. Yeah. Set up. Forget teeping out. Oh, oh nice done by Ogre. Yeah. He keeps the answer alive with that one, but they've rotated in Jakiro now as well. And with the Macro Pie, they've got so much damage. Mana goes leaping on out, and all Yapsor can do is try and run away, but this Shadow Realm, Yapsor, he's in trouble. He didn't have a TP, so he's gonna pay for it with his life. <laughs> Newbie are crushing it. Newbie they just suddenly came online. Are playing so well at the moment. They're just outnumbering uh, Team Six. But if you look at the gold, it's still only 1k network advantage. Yeah. But that's largely because of the way that Secret are playing a fairly greedy style. Yeah, because Naga Siren is really farming a lot, both jungle and the lane at the same time. So, but they are getting a lot of levels. Look at Tarana, level eight. If you compare her to level six, uh, Crystal Maiden. Dark below, I mean Dark below is also level 8. Similar-ish, but... Slew lined up, gets the arrow, pops the shrine. Um, but yeah, Secret are very much playing the farming game. They've got Naga Siren, who doesn't have a Midas, but basically plays like she does with the way she jungles so fast. And then you've got Midas Slark and Midas Ogre. So for newbie, you've got to be aggressive, you've got to be finding these kills, and that's exactly what CCNC has done. He's 3-1-4. and four. He's been fantastic with how active he's been here in the early game. Also has full Veil finish. He's level 13. That's a lot of magical damage. If you combine that with the uh, Mirana Star Storm or just the Fire Storm, they have yeah. a lot of storms, though. Besides Storm Spirit. <laughs> Firestorm, too, right? Yeah, Underlord. Yeah, Firestorm, Star Storm. We'll see. Still does feel like a very good slot game. If he can just come online a bit. Has a hood queued up. Mid one really looking to tank up here. Which reminds me, the, the Eternal Envy Slark build. He used to go hood, right? Yeah. I think that was a... Uh, you know, at first people thought it was a bit of a meme, but then it was like, actually, this situationally is quite good. When you're playing against a lot of magic damage, you really Radiant need to be able to stay standing. alive. And he's... Less pressure on him to do damage. He's got a Nag on his team. You come Bounty yeah, Runes. Both teams want him. It looks like Secret... We'll get their bounty runes on their side of the map, but neither team will contest the other team. Life still will continue to farm. He's got a minus as well, so there's one minus on the newbie side. It's the root with the searing chains. CNC getting rooted himself, and we gotta find all too much more of that and it does look like newbie are just going to group up here and try and take this t1 tower it's been bloodlusted but with the siege creep this tower should be going down the question is can newbie get the last hit for it arrow is still in cooldown or they may be able to go in that crystal maiden and for newbie you really want to make sure you try and get this last hit on the tower you don't want to see it get denied here and it does look like secret i'm going to be able to contest it a lot of zoning spells from newbie you have ice pet it's only level one at the moment but the uh, pit of malice so they can pretty much choose where they want to fight still didn't see naga siren using uh song she's spamming enemy jungle may need to use it soon nisha. does nisha go for the song here going for this extra creep wave nisha may get a kill oh okay nisha just Owning it up. Have they going to take the cancels from a above? They do. It's an arrow. from Mirana. So well played. Nisha gets caught by the arrow. Right afterwards, Mirana actually walked into the sleep, but she did her job. She got the arrow. Now they're going to kill Nisha, and they give the kill to Yuar. Really nicely done by Mirana. Leaps away from Song. Top lane, mid ones. He's being stunned, but he's actually the one who's got a lot of damage here. That hood saving Slack's life almost, I want to say. And they've got two spells that catch Naga while he's trying to song Ooh, top lane. Nice searing chain. Into an ice path. There's a pit of mouse as well. They're just chaining them as well. They do get the fear out onto the Ember Spirit. Have they got any balls? They get him with the pounce as well. Slide of fist unable to be used as Mirana now rotates in as well. But they've lost CCNC and the slot getting a lot of stats here. Snaking just trying to get his team out of this one. Mirana with the ice path will be kept alive. They cancel the relocate out. 
And Slark now with the ultimate. Able to keep on fighting. That's a lot of Hadji. 28, 29, 87 stolen agility. All of this essence ship, but mid one. Very low on health. What a great build. This hood pickup really paying Radiant's off there. And snaking, cancelling the Dark Rift out. I'm not sure if he would have saved the Mirana or not there. Would have been close. He's going to go in again. He's there he goes. So tanky right now. And the Slark with all of this Agi just wants to go diving in for these kills. He's just going to take the tower instead. 200 plus damage, hand of minus. He's level 15. Yep, they may have killed that Naga, but it's still Secret winning the farm war. This is so untypical of Secret. They just took a, a tier 1 tower 18 minutes in. They first have the game, yeah. yeah. They are playing a much slower paced, greedier game, and it's working okay for them so far. I mean, they're ahead on goal. Pressure is still coming their way, particularly with CCNC's Ember doing as well as he is. Gonna be hitting level 15 soon. And that extra. Searing chain second, perhaps. And Mirana had four stuff queued up, but I think realized the way this game is going that she needs to be greedier. Now buys some Aghanim Scepter components. She's definitely gonna buy that uh, four staff Aster. Later, like, yeah. it, it's a must against uh, the Slark, against the, uh, let's say, Ensnare, Bramble Maze. Newbie, they're smoked. Yeah, what do they have to do here? They have got Moonlight Shadow. Pop sneaking smoke, but it does look like they're going to back off a little bit. And then for now, with a maelstrom complete, even more damage coming into play. Thinking it was real, they did root up some Naga illusions there, but the case that it will amount to a whole lot. Naga only needs 200 gold to finish the second to fuel blade. Slug already got yeah. one. They got the chain roots into an arrow here. Have they got the damage with the stars? So it's going to be. Plenty of damage as Ember Spirit goes sliding in for that last hit. Slark on the high ground. Whoa, wants to go onto Pile I Die. Pile I Die. It's in trouble, gets feared up. They've got this mech though. This mech is going to help keep Pile I Die alive. And Yatsu may have overcommitted for this one. The roots are there. The Ember's going to come bouncing back in in just a second now as well. And Slark may be forced to shadow dance his way out of here. And he leap himself to the low ground. Does do so with the shadow dance. And just TP himself on home, so a two for one trade. Bounty runes are spawning, that's the second defusal blade. Who bought uh, all the Naga? Got the second for the Radiant, yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Arrow. Can he get the Nadai to Nudes? Should be able to, no. Not a fun game for these supports. I feel like we've seen a fair few kills, but most of them are coming on these supports and. Six deaths on Puppy's Crystal Maiden. Four on the Dark Willow. Ten of these 16 kills. Good play by CCNC. Dodges that to pounce. Otherwise, he would have died for sure. No mana. Now he popped the region. He ward off. It's Mirana, by the way. Seven, one, and eight. 15, 15. out of 16 Die. kills. <laughs> That's impressive. To say. Clean putting on a show as far as what this four position Mirana can do. And all it took was a small little buff on the recent patch and suddenly Mirana's support looks a whole lot better with that extra int, the lower cooldown on the arrow as it levels up as well. And that's the big one I feel like that cooldown improving because as a support you're Arrow stun is one of your biggest tools. Yeah, but the extra end so you can <gasps> use arrow more yes. often. Oh, and when you're playing that support in the lane, that's such a big deal. Like, you're going between arrowing, trying to go for kills, and also just jungling a little bit. Radiant's Very even game here. Newbie holding their own against one of the TI9 favorites. He sure runs into uh, Jakiro here. That's a real one. They get caught out by the Rage Life Salute, who has completed a Radiance here. Yuaz just been quietly farming away on his Life Sealer, hasn't he? Yeah, we didn't talk about him. Radiance going oh. for Halberd next. Sense that's going to be a lot of evasion, Radiance and Nagas are here that does not deal with evasion at all. When they're using Moonlight Shadow, if they want to play aggressive, Life Stealer should turn off the Radiance, because if they have a Ward, it's going to reveal, reveal if they 
go past uh, the neutral creeps or the creep wave. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Both teams will slow things down here. All these Midas's, they're going to start kicking in. All the GPM talents that will be flying around as well. Dyer with one or two of their own. Back at mid, Ember leashed up, but yeah, okay. Immediately Dark packs off the root as could be Ogre Magi in trouble instead. Life Silver goes charging in with the range and the Ice Pass to follow it up. Has to go the damage. I think with the range wearing off, Yuan decides he's going to run the hell out of there. Game of cat and mouse. As one team pokes but doesn't dare go too far, and Ogre actually does go too far. The slight of fist damage really starting to add up. A lot of zoning tools on both sides actually. Crystal Maiden ulti, Bramble Maze on Newbie's team. You have Ice Bat and Bit of Malice. They've been using the combo really effectively. Yeah. It's like a, a game of harass almost, where it's like you're poking at them from afar, but you're not really willing to commit until they get really low. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Lifesteal does have the money for the halberd now, so he's going to suddenly have a lot of evasion kicking in once he hits that level 20 talent as well. Find that with the Radiance, and you're looking at you know close to like 50% evasion against Naga Siren when the Radiance is on. CCNC about to finish his BKB level 18. At that point, you're just not dying to all these roots, then I guess is the, the key thing. Start looking a whole lot better. Snaking, similar thing. Get, let's get ways to get out of these roots. Greaves into Yules. We'll see what the plan's going to be. 17 kills to 7, but. Kills do not tell the whole story here. Secret with plenty of late game, plenty of farm on those late game heroes. But newbie, four position Marana, Ag Scepter is online, so already transitioning into that kind of core status. She needs a defensive item. We already talked about yeah. that four staff. It's going to be extremely effective against the pounce. For you couldn't use it, but the, with the recent changes, now you can just uh, push yourself away. Yes. Link Dagger. We're going to put the Moonlight Shadow, but I feel like this one was spotted. I don't think it was used in the sneakiest of fashion. As it does set up for these Boundary Room fights. There is a Sentry Ward there as Ember manages to snag the Boundary Room and get out. So that was a Moonlight Shadow just to secure a Boundary Room there. Back in the mid lane. Slark jumps in, finds Highlight Eye. Should be able to get this kill with the Pit of Malice. And the Greaves is there, keeps him alive. And they're going to look to turn on this. Luck does have a pounce in a couple of seconds, so we'll be okay. Well, Bounty Rune down here in bottom lane, it looks like. Perhaps a forgotten one. Naga did not want to risk going for it. We saw only one sleep being used by Naga. She even died after that. Yeah, because of a good positioning from Marana. They don't have the best team fight around it, I guess. Like, it sets up maybe a boy, Bramble, Bramble or Freezing Field. It's decent. It's not like some of the more amazing combos. Like there's an best combo, we have not seen this one yet. And it's gonna succeed in killing the Ogre Magi. Yep, the Fear not gonna catch on the life still. It does catch the Ember, who could be in some trouble. CCC, he can't BKB until the Fear is worn off. Gets it just in time, there's a sleep as well. Trying to help his buddy out, and I think CCNC realized he's got no mana. He's got to get the hell out of there. He leaves a remnant behind. He wants to TP himself on home, but he's got no mana to do so. And now he's being defused up as well. Where's the grief? Snaking needs to help his buddy out, but it's on cooldown. Ember's still nice. in some trouble, and he got the slug. Shadow Dance is there just to get this kill on Ember. CCNC is done for. And Snaking just going to ulti himself out of there. He was trying to save his buddy, but couldn't do so. Oh, he almost found him. <laughs> That team be. Secret is looking to for this prolonged team fights because of the Slark. I love the yeah. Blink Dagger pickup on him. He goes in, in the back lines, kills the Jakiro before he can get anything off. Doesn't have a defensive item yet. I mean, it's a position 5 Jakiro, so you can't expect him to have uh, an item or item and a half at 26 minutes. And that was a tough one for Ember. CCNC, if he had mana to TP out there or just disengage after he popped his BKB, it would look a whole lot better. And Slark with all this stolen Agi, he's just going right back in, but... This is what they want. Just yeah. build some Agi on Slark, his level 20. Went for Dark Pact damage we saw in the previous uh, series that we casted. Plus one second, Pounce Leash. 
Yeah, that's right. And hey, he forces out a Moonlight Shadow just to save Ejikira's life, so... Not the worst case scenario. GPM talents coming online. Dark Willow hits level 15. How's CM doing? Uh, just level 12. So yeah. a bit of ways to Our go. Our boy Ogre didn't go for it. He went for cast range. Wow. Instead. It's a 90 GPM talent. I'm surprised to see that. I'm going to be honest with you, Lacoste. So you can see BKBs here, somewhat forced. Does look like he's going to do as much damage as he can. As elsewhere, Nisha kills off Pylite Eye. Pylite Eye, rough game for him. It's constantly being preyed upon. And I think Seeker want to keep buying. They've still got decent essence shift on the slack, although it is fading and fading quickly. Blinking forward onto Snaking. This is one of those heroes that's pretty much just a, you know, an agi farm. You just going to keep on hitting and building up that agility. Wow, that is damage. Damage. Wow, that halberd on the slack may just save Snaking's life. He's still getting jumped on, though. The Crystal Maiden goes down, the Fear coming out onto the Ember, and I think it is going to be the death of CC and C. He just can't escape, he can't play into these leashes with his BKBs down, and Slug is just an absolute monster. He comes onto the high ground, not sure he intended that one so much. They need to be careful, there's so much Agi with the Bloodlust as well on this Slug. He's building up those stacks so quickly. That, that's what they wanted to do. Just go in, look for these prolonged uh, fights where Slug can uh, build up the edgy while Naga Siren finds someone in the back line and the, these two defusal blades you, you really can't fight without mana we saw that in a couple of patches before where Nyx Assassin was uh, extremely popular Nyx and the Medusa combo this is the one that I really like especially against the big team fighting heroes like a Tide Hunter you burn the mana or just use Snake once he doesn't have enough to use it oh, right after that they could have claimed themselves an easy Roshan Uncontested, Slark gets it. And Team Secret start to take control of this game. It's only a 6k gold lead, they're down on kills, but it's this feeling that Nubia maybe missed some of their timings going into the late game. Have they got the tools to deal with Naga and Slark? Two very scary late game parries. Team Secret is the team that will punish the smallest mis mistake. We, we saw it right there. Gold lead was 1,000. Two minutes after, suddenly 7,000. Well, top tower is under attack. Not what you want to see if you're a newbie fan or an NA Dota fan as Slark continuing just to poke his way in, gets the essence, goes out. Does have to pop the Shadow Dance this time. I think a little bit worried for his life. But applying that pressure as bounty runes are spawning. And see if Life Silla can manage to get this one. It does look like he's going to manage to get into the enemy side. And Claim one, maybe even both these bounties down bottom. It's a smoke from Secret, but it does look like it was more awarding smoke being, being used. A lot of big items coming out uh, on Team Secret. Naga Siren about to finish her butterfly. Ogre yep. with the freshly bought four staff. Slark has that uh, Skull Basher and uh, Lotus Orb just uh, finished on a Dark Willow. So the item timings are pretty much uh, perfect on their side. Naga Siren just needs uh, a little bit more gold. Uh, as she actually has it when she sells the Raid Band. Gotta say, even though it's now being backpacked, this hood on the Slark helped him so much in the mid game. As far as just being a, a threat that can run in and feel a little bit safer. Play without a BKB, such as a smart item pickup. And now we're at this stage where this slack is very hard to deal with. Level 22 has an age of course. to initiate in on him. They've got the force up, which means the arrow is not going to latch. Instead, they're going to go on the ogre, who now doesn't have that force up. So he dies, but that saves the slack's life because they were somewhat alone down in this bottom lane. And they would have definitely killed him at least once. Meanwhile, on the mid lane, Nagasarin putting a lot of pressure. They need to address address this problem. Yeah, Naga Illusions are starting to hurt. Pilot Eye is losing the battle against one. And he even has to pop a shrine. That was more than half his health gone to a Naga Illusion in no time at all. What are you looking to do here if you're a newbie? Like, how do you get yourself out of this hole that you find yourself in that's uh, that's a tough question Parker I mean life stealer 
didn't even die once this game, but the, you really don't feel his like influence, what, what he's doing in a team fight. Has a freshly bought Mjolnir, so that's gonna mm -hmm. help him deal with the with the illusions. Mjolnir's gonna proc way more in the team fight. The damage just doesn't feel like it's significant enough or it's there. Slark is one of those carries that's traditionally been thought of as like a good answer to life stealer. Some secret, but Moonlight Shadow has been popped. Bit of a vision advantage on the newbie side, but at the same time Slark, he'll know when he's been spotted because of the, the Shadow Dance passive. And that's not the hero that you want to go for. He no. has fully... He has Abyssal Blade and Aegis at this moment, so... There's no way he's gonna die. Still a full minute left on that Aegis as well, so it does seem like Secret want to fight right now. Naga is leading the charge. Lifestealer goes in. I do not think this will end too well for you, Mr. Lifestealer. And in the backline, Slarkus is going from behind with the Aegis. He feels very confident. He got disarmed, but now he's got the Shadow Dance off the Freezing Field follow-up. Lifestealer, he's got no range. He's got no way to offense until he gets inside a teammate. Just in time, snaking the escape vessel. And Naga Saram getting incredibly low. Nisha does not have the Aegis. Pops to sleep, but with the BKB, can CCNC finish him off? He's got the kill as well as the Ogre kill. Nubia doing this. Puppy going for the TP out. Is there anything? Yeah. There's not. He gets himself out of there, but the bigger kill. Whoa! Mid one! I think he was TPing. He doesn't have a TP. He's got no ages. He should be dead here. They're going to have to chase him now. They've got five heroes and all oh just my around God. him. That's really big for newbie. Oh. They managed to take the ages and kill three heroes on side of Team Secret. That was huge. The arrow, I think, finding him as he was TPing out. Secret tried to focus life stealer but they don't have anything to address the evasion he's level 22 so that means 20 percent evasion coming from the talent uh, 25 from the halberd and uh, from the radiant 17 percent yeah 39 percent plus radiance well yeah. not that it works additively <laughs> but you know there's it's it's around 50 ish give it 52 percent or so is what we'll call it Slark, no, not Slark, uh, life still charging him, wants Puppy, Puppy trying to juke around some trees. These trees are being very pesky, but they'll get Puppy nonetheless, and that's four heroes dead. They're chasing for more, I believe that's Snaking just going into the enemy high ground, he's very tanky with these, this armor of his. Look at the damage on Underlord, 300 right now. Whew, boy, getting 106. Permanent damage as well as the rest of the bonus Two damage. huge items now that newbie picked up. It's a BKB for a life stealer and a hex on Ember Spirit. Whoa. So Slark, once he blinks in and uses the dark bag, Ember is gonna hex him. We asked how newbie get themselves out of their hole. It's winning a big team fight into an Aegis. They're going for this tier three tower, but they are gonna not really commit to it as they dark rift their way out of there. I think recognizing that all these heroes respawning, they are not in a position to push high ground. The cute little play that you can do when you're playing against the Underlord, once he uses the dark rift, try to force someone out. Ah, uh, yeah. Have they got many four stops? Ogre has one. Ogre. Yeah, that's the only one, but it is one. Just see Nisha be careful that last fight. He's a big part of the where things went astray when he took all that damage. And such a smart timing of CCNC's BKB. Oh. Going in, CCNC losing his mana very quickly. And he did not have any fire runes to get out of here. Does drop another one. Has only one left. Doesn't even have mana for Hex. Gets in this stuff though. I don't imagine Slack has detection. He, he, he does, does but it's in backpack. Yeah. Just don't have the item slots for it as a carry. And now CCNC has backup nearby. He's a bit low on mana though. He's trying to juice himself back up. The Hex giving him some good mana regen. And they'll just take that kill with ease. Just support, but take those. That was a 10,000 gold. Gold piece. Back in mid, Slark. Trying to find a way to build up some essence once again. See these arrows just constantly flying out. I feel like every time I look at this Mirana, it's just you see there's an arrow being shot somewhere. It's that 10 second cooldown. Such a nice quality of life improvement. And you can't focus at this Mirana anymore. 
She has two defensive items, which are extremely good against both the Naga and Slark. Radiance middle tower is under attack. For the CM, I didn't hit the searing chains though. Back behind them is Nisha cutting waves and being pesky on the Naga Siren, but it does seem like newbie happy to just play a farming game. They've got four cores essentially. Mirana scaling very well into the late game and sneaking, getting some good farm himself. Also has all that bonus damage. Multiple E blades queued up, both Mirana and Underlord. This is obviously a fantastic item to help defensively against a Slark, but even has some offensive potential as well. They have a lot of uh, magical damage, especially on Mirana with that Aghanim Scepter. So supports can be, I mean, they're not going to be one-shotted, but uh, once the, let's say, they drop to 50% yeah. HP, they're going to die. The pseudo dig on that isn't just offensive damage, it has defensive save as well. This little tool. See what the next order of business is going to be. Both teams posturing around Roshan. It's going to be respawning about 30 seconds time. DCC charging forward, attack. looking for some kind of pickoff here. He's very close to that level 25. Here comes Slark. Who's he going to be going on? Blinks in with the Abyssal Blade. CM is there, the Ghost Scepter coming in as well. There's going to be a stun and they do burn down the Mirana who instantly fires back, pops the Moonlight Shadow, trying to help his team out. Now they're going to have to turn and fight this one. CM forced to run away. Does have a TP. Is there any detection? The Ice Pod is there. The Arrow going to go flying in as well. I don't think that even lands, but it's not needed to land. And Roche will respawn in two seconds. Two, Perfect timing one. for Newbie. What's up? Welcome to my home, says Roshan. Please stay for dinner. Nice. Buyback on the Crystal Maiden. Knowing that this Roshan is a very important one. And they're going to infest into the Ember, who does have that Hex. So if CCC can get inside the enemy's back lines, he's going to be able to wreak havoc with the help of this Life Sealer. But they've got to be a little bit careful. This Mirana, especially, who just used Buyback, cannot afford to get caught out here. CNC. Trying to deal with these illusions. So annoying playing into Naga at this stage around the Roshan pit. Just feels like you're never finding heroes, you're only finding illusions. They say that CCC goes charging for with the root. There's the Hex follow up. Life still pops out. Can they do the damage here? The Force Staff gonna help keep him alive with the Lotus Orb. They pop the shrine as well. And Ember, remnants away. That's his BKB down as well. Snaking on the front lines. And in goes. Mid one on the slide. Abyssal Blade is all there. With the Ice Path though, that's a great bit of control coming in from Pylite Eye and it's going to force a pounce out. Life Sealer with this Maelstrom doing some good damage. It's Ogre who's just being torn apart. Gets the root out as well from the Steering Chains. The Ice Path knocking the latches. Fear onto three. Everyone's being pushed back. Nietzsche, he has an Orchid I believe that he used on the Life Sealer, but that's going to be Whoa. a great TP out. That damage coming damage in from Naga Siren. Slark. Poof. Once you pop that. Yeah. Bloodthorn, and that's gonna be a Roche Cheese and Aegis. They already used the buyback on Marana. He's testing this one with the Underlord Dive. Five gold for buyback. He's not gonna do it. Roche is just gone. Too fast. A lot of zoning tools on both of these teams, so trying to take a fight uh, in this uh, choke points with a lot of cliffs. Uh, it actually benefits both teams. Yep. Oh, for sure. We're seeing such skilled play from like the supporting cast especially with these four staffs it's been so crucial to you know somebody gets gone on there like the naga siren to be able to force staff him back to safety and then it's newbie doing a similar thing when they get initiated on but well she for newbie they find themselves fighting into an aegis and cheese now and not as easy ask for them to defend here the halberd gonna delay things a little bit but that's the rage down so they're gonna be very careful about that rage cooldown Meanwhile, on the top lane, Nisha just split pushing with the illusions. Yep. Bloodlust and Catapult doing what it can as well. They still, Arrow. Sure. They still didn't kill the tier 1 tower on the bottom. <laughs> Dyer's yeah. bottom shrine that, is you, know, you can take Rax without taking a tier 1 tower. As long as it's in a different lane. Dyer's bottom yeah, Nisha's damage really fall. starting to rack up here with the Bloodborne. And that's where this Life Seal's BKB kicks in as well. Like, having it that last fight, he's completely dead if he doesn't have that BKB to get rid of the Bloodborne. And it's Naga's attack. way of dealing with evasion. And we talk about Naga, not a hero that deals well with evasion. You don't really want to go MKB, but the Bloodborne is at least an answer to it.
So Lifestealer pops a Rage, then a BKB, then Dyer's another Rage. So he has 24 seconds of magic immunity. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Uh. Oh, we're looking at it does look like Mirana is not going to go for the E-Blade. Has a Lotus Orb queued up now. Uh, some of these level 25s will be kicking in. Remnant recharge time on the Ember. Level 25s will be looking at Slark and Life Seal, of course, getting the Rage. Slark should be getting the Essence Duration. Yep. Slark pretty now with the Mjolnir. Stuff. Some of these level 25 talents are pretty much no-brainers. One second Shadow Dance Duration. Feels like... Yeah, I'm not picking that up, <laughs> ever, unless I misclick. Or you get an Ag Scepter, you know? Maybe then you want it? Just doesn't nah. feel... It doesn't <laughs> feel good enough with the... It's already 4.5. It feels significant enough. Maybe it feels like 2 seconds. Then you can Jump in with the Abyssal Blade. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Down goes CC and C. Dyer's middle They're tower. picking them out. Yeah. They want to take this fight. They're going to look to turn this one. The sleep is there, but the life still has the rage. Doesn't manage to, to connect really onto anyone. And now here comes the buyback from the Ember Spirit. The song is down. The Ice Path stopping the chase and the Halberd causing Slark problems. He can't hit with it. Even goes charging in, but just doesn't have a way to deal with that pesky thing as he's now found his way back in. No Halberd online as Shakira gets full stop away. The Dark Will are going to buy back as well. Both teams doing such a good job of just poking and kiting one another. The Naga goes charging forward, also gets this up. Head gets Hex as well. Uh oh, geez. He needs to get find a way to get off. He's being chained up, but he gets it off just in time as CCC with the BKB is looking to turn and fight. They've killed the Slack once, but he's got a second life with the Aegis. The Naga, though, not so lucky, does end up going down, and they may just be able to kill the Slack a second time. He gets the stun as he comes out of the Aegis respawn, and both these heroes dead. They're going to use the Puppy CM as well. And Newbie take the team fight. Godlike streak on Lifestealer. 9, 0, and 8. Wow. What a game, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, newbie, you did not expect them to do this good against Team Secret. I don't think anyone did, but uh, I talked to Jack. He said that Team Secret is a really tough opponent, but uh, they might be able to crack it. Okay. Right now, it's looking awfully close, and all those numbers at the top of your screen kind of support it. At least some of the, the important one being the gold difference. The kills, of course, very newbie favored with the way this game is played, but Secret themselves getting a lot of good farm going to the late game. Let's see what Papa Gaben says. Oh, no, still busted. Sorry, guys. Is it zero to hundred? Yeah. <laughs> I think the same way the player official names aren't working, that means the Dota Plus uh, win probability is not working. But actually, hey, you know, Radiance we saw last time that zero to a hundred, it didn't lie. Maybe Gavin's gone away from having, you know, he just knows who's going to win nowadays. He doesn't bother with percents. It's just, you're winning or you're losing. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. You know, it's 50-50, really. Or in Gavin's case, it's 0 to 1. I don't know, I'm confused. But newbie, walk on in, get themselves a Rax, walk on out. 10 seconds before Slark's back, and they're going to go for these shrines, i got to imagine, and just find themselves sitting pretty. Radiance bottom barracks has fallen. A fantastic sequence of events for the NA Dota side. Yeah. After that the loss from EG. Fallen. After the EG yeah. lost, I mean, uh, one NA team needs to step up. And yes. the newbie is doing exactly that. It's not been the brightest of years for NA Dota as far as their results in the DPC events go outside of EG, but end of the day, at least end of the Dota year, all that matters is this one tournament, TI. No one will remember what happened to NA Dota at the majors. If the teams here, you show up, you play well at TI, that's what people will remember you for. Newbie, this is a squad that did very well at last TI when they were playing as VGJ. They finished top of their group with a slightly different roster, but it was very similar. Here they are, a year later, looking like another strong, fearsome side playing the TI. Roche may respawn in a minute and 40 seconds. I don't think anyone wants to make uh, a move until then. If somehow they can make a pickoff, that'd be great, but uh, 
Let's see. Actually, newbie. Smoking up. Buyback status looking. Most heroes in the game with buyback. Key one without Ember. And I'd say Yapsor as well, pretty key. If they can pick him off to start a fight, knowing that you're killing a support who has no buyback makes you much more inclined to commit to him with things like your Hex and your Ember jumping in. And it will be Ember with an infested life sealer looking to jump in. Picked up an A on this, so. CCNC realizing he needs some kind of defensive item to stop himself getting blown up. Dark Willow with that level Dyer's 20 talent. Minus 12 seconds for Amble Maze cooldown. Oh, yeah. You can almost cast Amble it Maze. three times. Like it's guaranteed two times, but then well, if you get Arcane Rune, you can have three Bramble. That's what you like to see. These crazy chaotic team fights that are gonna be coming our way. Slark does get spotted here by an Observer Ward, so they know where he is. But it does look like this smoke from Newbie is not going to lead to a whole lot. Roshan, not up for at least 30 seconds, so... Both teams playing it a little bit more cautiously, playing this vision game. And it is pretty decent vision for the side of Secret, although some of these wards are expiring. Yeah, these two wards they have up on the enemy side of the map, both of those... ...about to expire, but they've still got some wards near the Roshan pit area. And that's where the key piece of action is going to be happening. Uh oh! What happened here? Jimmy Shakira getting caught out. Ember considers trying to turn this fight, but I think CCNC needs to be careful. He's alone. He's going for a TP out. Brave TP for sure, but they don't find him. Kira goes down. Back in. His mid one. Mid one just looking to get whatever Agi he can. 24. Extra Agi. As well as the permanent 12 that he's got. And it does look like the app pinging down bottom. Maybe considering going for a tier 2 tower. But once again, it's Nisha being very pesky. The split push coming into play as well. He's playing around one of his illusions. Trying to fake them out a little bit. Illusions from Naga Siren. Oh, are causing a lot of issues. Charge on in. They've got the Hex as well. Nice force up coming out. That keeps alive a little bit longer with the low solve as well. They've got the BKBs and the rage. They really want this Nisha kill. It's going to be close. Have they got the damage? One more remnant. The BKBs were off. They just get the kill. Lifesteal had BKB. Could pop the arrow. It finds him. Oh! He has a buyback. What though. a play from the Mirana. This Mirana has been on point all game long. Mid Rax is still alive as well. When we talk about Mirana's kill involvement in the early game, 15 of 16 kill. It's now 30 of 32. She's also getting closer to level 25, so you have 10 second cooldown on multi shot arrows. That's gonna be another good pickup. I, I love the way CCNC is just playing so aggressive. He's, you know, not playing this reserve Dota where he's afraid to go in. He's willing to put his life on the line and just commit for these kills. Yeah, with Eon Disc, he can do that because they can't blow him up even if Slark jumps in, uses the Abyssal Blade. Yep. Naga Siren is dead, which means that uh, they can use Nullifier. On it, Two you, can, you can dispel the Eon Disc. Here's Roshan. <gasps> he walked down his Roshan respawn. Oh. Right as Roshan respawned, he walked out. That's that's it feels bad. Because they've only got 37 seconds before Naga's back. I think they're okay, setting they're the career inside a bit. They just got it. Ember's there. It was a fairly fast Roshan respawn, which kind of works against Secret. 7k gold on Naga. She needs to start thinking about spending some of that money. 51 minutes in and newbie will secure, secure themselves Aegis, Cheese, and Ag Scepter. Got to imagine that's going into Ember's hands. For sure. Life Sealer Ag's not really the best thing in the world. Unless there's a chance to keep it. No, it's, it's surely going to be. They should have oh, given it to Life Stealer just for the memes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where is it? There we go. Aghanim's Blessing. The reverse in fest bombs. Remember? No A on Dispa now, has the Aegis instead, so one better. And we'll see Secret now put on the back foot, down 11k gold. It's been oh, look at this grab. This is what I want to see back and forth. And it's been mostly, whenever it's been someone ahead, it has been Secret until now. This is the first time it's really taken a big dip below that zero mark. There's been some small dips, but Secret gonna find themselves playing from behind gold-wise. They've been playing from behind in terms of kills for pretty much the entire game. A lot of credit to the Mirana, who's now got eight Dagon. I love this. The late game six-slotted Mirana build when you go this magic build. Keep late Dagon five. Mid 
mid lane. They've gone in on Sneaky. He's taking a lot of damage here. The Slark building up some magic as well, but he's being chained disabled. He needs to find a new target. Actually, no, he finds Sneaky. Still the four stars out there, but Nisha shows up to clean him up. Ember with the BKB as well as Nisha coming in from behind. They've got the sleep as well to try and deal with the heroes and kite the heroes in their BKB. Arrow's gonna hit. Long arrow. Uh, they're gonna look to follow this one up. Nisha's maybe a better target. That's the hero they really love to kill. The CCNC gets silenced up. He's still got the Aegis so he's not really afraid of dying. They'd love to kill off this ogre, but he's a beefy fella. It does look like he's gonna get back to safety. So newbie end up buying back on snaking and not getting a single kill, but they've still got Aegis. I believe they've still got the cheese. Yeah, Underlord with that cheese. Not the easiest draft to push high ground with as well. They have two four staffs plus a Lotus Orb, so they should be able to play around Underlord, even if he gets yeah. caught. They tried their best to there, but he was just a bit too low already. We do see that Mirana, level 25, triple arrow coming in. Talk about zoning tools. Well, here's one of the better ones in the game as well. They allow them just to poke at high ground using the rage. If they want to go in with life stealer rage at the tower back off, they could just slow siege this and it looks like that's exactly what life still wants to do hit for about four or five seconds and then you back off look at all those zoning off. tools yep bit of malice level 25 extra 0 0.8 seconds on it now they wait for the next wave they wait for the next rage and then they do the same thing <laughs> <laughs> two brambles bit of malice here he goes and repeat oh they're gonna go on the back line so it's snaking who has the buyback he does get e bladed up he's still getting incredibly low that's a dieback as Slark pops the BKB for this one, finds a new target, it's the Jakiro who gets four stuff away, throws himself up in the air with the Yules, Nisha wants in, wants to go for the kill, gets him before the Ice Path comes out, a great arrow will find Puffy, will set the kill as well, Yaps her as well as mid one, both very low, mid one Slark, the key kill there as well, as Nisha throws that Nullifier out, not doing a whole lot except bring down the Embers first life. Nice bit of damage to start the fight off as Morana getting rooted up as well, can't find his game, Puffy's freezing, still doing some good damage here, that all oh, the A on this, keeping Ember alive as they are going to lose the life stealer and it's newbie. They're just dropping like flies one oh, by one. The oh bash my plus God. the blood thorn. There's also a double damage on the bottom lane if they want to go for it. They don't have the vision of an arrow. It's going <laughs> to connect on Slark. Well, that is a hell of a high ground defense and it's snaking getting jumped on there. They were slow sieging the way you kind of expect them to with life stealer. And Secret just say, we're gonna lose our base if this keeps going on. Let's do something. And it's not going the life stealer, it's going the Underlord. Slark has 600 damage right now. Well, that hurts. Let's see how fast he can drop some of these. Solar Crest and Bloodlust. Even Bloodlust. Oh, yeah. yes. He doesn't want to hit, he wants to blink in for a kill. He's staying hidden. Smoked up, who's he gonna find? Can he jump on this Ember? Aeon Disc is still on cooldown. He realizes he's going over the building. He's got it. Didn't get the Abyssal. There was an E-Blade there to potentially save his life. And they just got Look at this involved. damage. Yeah, they want to go for the throw. They know there's no buyback. There's a small window here. In goes Life Stealer. BKB being popped on the back lines. That's the Ember Spirit trying to keep himself alive. The tier four tower is still nice and healthy, so they're gonna go for the kill, not for the buildings. E Blade is there with the Dago doing some good damage to the Slag who has got BKB, doesn't even need to pop a mid one. Destroying him. That's a tieback from the Marana. Ember thrown is going down. Yeah, they're gonna just focus this throw. They're gonna look to focus on CCC with it as well. CCC does manage to get out of there, but this throne is dying so incredibly fast. And it looks like Secret have taken the in heartbreaking fashion. Newbie. I'm sure any Dota fans out there, they really believe they had that game. They were so close. They were pushing high ground. They had a Rex advantage. And they just couldn't. You know, that, they're, that's grab. Oh, they're like at the finish line and they just stumble. They were so, so close.